Hey, what's up? It's Ike Paws. Forgive the impromptu video, but uh, I want to just give a sneak preview of my upcoming software. Um, this is something that I've been doing for a long. I've been selling printables online for a long time. Actually, if you've uh, you know found my YouTube channel that you're watching right now, chances are you found me because of printables. Doing it for about eight years now, and I just made it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to be creating more, uh, some videos showing you the insides of Crispy Print and how it works. This is one of them, so check it out. So let's take a look at the Crispy Print's niche interest level search bar. With this search bar, we can get a quick overview of how popular a specific keyword is, long tail keyword. Especially for printables, this is invaluable information because it lets us know if people are actually buying. And the cool thing is, this search bar actually pulls from the world's largest e-com site. So you know uh, the keywords that will show up for your, for your root keyword are buyer keywords. These are keywords that people are out to help them find the products they're looking for. Okay, let's see with Crispy Prints if we can service the market. So if I put in a keyword such as Christmas, you know, this is a big market, of course, especially around December. You can see it has a score, a max score of 100. Okay, and you can see here, there's all types of offshoots or different branches of this market. There's people looking for different types of Christmas decorations, uh, Christmas trees, pajamas for family, decor, gifts, and so forth. But we're not interested in those because Crispy Prince cannot create uh, Christmas trees, for example, what we can do is create Christmas games. If I put in Christmas games, you can see now that the search has become more refined. It's still a score of 100, which is nice and healthy, but we have more specific offshoots of this larger market. Um, Christmas games for families, for kids, adults, for parties. Let's go with um, Christmas, actually Christmas games for a kid's party. Copy that, put that in there. And we get a score of 38, okay? Uh, that means this keyword comes up in other long tail keywords. So people are actively looking for Christmas games for kids parties, okay? Now the cool thing is with Crispy Prints, I, uh, I have here Xmas Prints where we can create all types of um, printable Christmas games, okay? Spe specifically for kids. Let's look at a different market. Let's put in baby shower. Now we can assume that baby shower again, another healthy market. Okay, it has over a hundred. And we have again, different offshoots of uh, the baby shower niche. We have baby shower games, decorations for girls, gifts, uh, um, registry for baby shower search by name, baby shower decorations for boy, yada, yada, yada. Now if I put in games, we can see that it's gonna give us a, uh, a some some more keywords that are related to our overall niche. Now we can get more specific, Halloween baby shower games, okay? And we get a score 55. If we can go, if we can go even deeper, as long as we don't hit zero, then we're good to go. If I, ha if I get a nine or above, I'm good, okay? So again, this is not giving you the, the search volume, just giving you what, what the interest is for these types of niches. Now this uh, search bar will fluctuate in its results depending on the season because it's live. It's actively, uh, going, is actively going after keywords that are relevant right now. Hence the word Halloween baby shower games. As I'm recording this video, it's late September. So Halloween is quickly approaching. So this is how you use the niche interest level search bar within Crispy Prints. And I, I urge you to use it and to gauge how popular the, the printable niche you want to enter is. So that was the, um, the keyword niche interest tool. And I hope you like it. Uh, and now I'm going to show you one of the game bundles that you can create with Crispy Prints. Check this out. I'm going to add this unicorn printable background image. Just drag and drop, okay? I'm gonna change the color of the header. Let's make it a, a dark blue, why not? Now you can select uh, specific games. Right now there's 14 games I'll always be adding 
uh, games or refining the games I already have within uh, Crispy Prints. So always make sure to look for the, the new games. If, if I create new games, they'll be added here. You can select uh, individual games, um, a combo of games. What I like to do is select them all. I just select all 14, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna click Create Bundle. Then you're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna let the tab, you're gonna keep the tab open so that Crispy Prince can create your bundle set. Once the pop-up disappears, you'll be taken to a new tab with your finished printable game set bundle, okay? In this example, there are 14 games, okay? You'll see that your background image is on, is on each page and sometimes your background character will be edited out so that it makes sense and jives with the type of game. So in this, in this case example, we want the, um, the, ABC, the, al the alphabetical uh, options to be listed on the right side of the game. So we, it doesn't make any sense to have the unicorn here, so it's blotted out, okay? Uh, you'll find that, let me give you another example. Right here, the mommy and daddy game for this baby shower game set, the unicorn is not visible. Uh, same thing with bingo here, and so forth, okay? This is 14 games. You download it, as soon as it's done, you download it. It's gonna, this link will, will remain live for exactly one hour after the hour period, it will, be, it will be deleted. So make sure to download this ASAP, but we're not done. What we wanna do now, uh, now that we still have this uh, background image here and the color that we want, we have all the image, we have all the games selected. We want, we wanna do here, we, we wanna use this optional sample text uh, input right here. We wanna put in the word sample. Okay, why? Well, because we're gonna advertise, well not advertise, we're gonna post on Pinterest images of our game set, okay? And we don't want people ripping us off. So we're gonna have the sample written twice on top of our game set so that we can add these images on Pinterest, get that traffic and redirect that traffic to our own site or to Etsy onto our listing. Let me show you what the, the game set looks like with the sample uh, text on top of it. Okay, so here are, are our games with the sample text written across the games so that we can actually um, create images with this PDF and upload these images to Pinterest, attracting customers, attracting traffic, and redirecting that traffic to our Etsy listing or to our listing on our own site. Uh, more about that within the Pinterest section of the Crispy Prince tutorial video guide set. Okay, cool. So I hope you like this uh, little um, preview. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down in the comment section. And if you want uh, early access to Crispy Prince, then check out the information in the description box and I'll send that to you right away. Okay, be good, take care, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.